Hello there everyone, I'm UXW Bill, and today we're taking a bit of a field trip. This is the smallest Walmart store in the entirety of the state of Illinois. Unfortunately, it's also a dying Walmart store. In just two days from now, it will be closing its doors forever. And I am rather disappointed by this. However, please do not confuse my disappointment and a slight tinge of sadness with any remorse whatsoever for the Walmart organization. After all, Walmart themselves rose like a leviathan from the depths and absolutely broadsided all manner of stores, especially those that were locally owned and operated and just couldn't compete with Walmart's relentless price pressure. In that regard, I have absolutely no love lost between Walmart and myself. But this store was the absolute perfect size for a Walmart. So much better to simply walk through while still carrying a decent selection of items and not being absolutely overwhelming like stupid, I mean super Walmart happens to be. And unfortunately those will, all, those will be all that's left in this particular area. Walmart themselves has been pretty tight-lipped about why this store is closing. They make the claim, at least from what I've heard on a strictly unofficial basis, that they weren't selling enough food here. And I'm not at all surprised by that because, believe it or not, they couldn't actually compete. There's too many grocery stores around here that'll beat them on price, including one Save-A-Lot. So let's go in and take a look at it. It'll be interesting to see whether or not I can actually get away with this. But I'm kind of banking on the fact that maybe a few Walmart employees are suddenly less than proud Walmart associates, and maybe they'll just kind of turn a blind eye to my taking a camcorder in the store. It's my recollection that they used to have a sign somewhere saying that audio and video recording was prohibited, and I'm certainly not asking permission because I don't really care. The worst they can do is simply ask me to leave. So let's take a closer look at what's left. Now, unlike when a lot of stores close and claim they're reducing prices, but in reality they're jacking them up before taking any reductions, so you're not really saving any money, Walmart has actually been lowering the prices here. They started at 25% off, then they worked their way up to 50%, and by then almost everything in the store was gone. Then they went to 75% off, and now they're up at 90 and I would imagine that by this point they're pretty much down to the stuff that even the tourists won't buy. So let's go take a look. been surprised by the fact they've actually been loading up the shelving and aisle work to take it somewhere else. Well, as luck would have it, or at least as my luck would have it, about midway through my video recording activities within the store, I did in fact get busted. I can't say as I'm tremendously surprised by that. The place is just bustling with employees, tearing stuff down, palletizing it, hauling it away, cleaning the floor, doing stuff like that. But the thing that did surprise me, I think the person that said something wasn't actually a Walmart employee. It was a middle-aged woman, probably in her 50s, wearing her street clothes, no Walmart badge on her, nothing to suggest that she represented Walmart in any official capacity. And she just very matter-of-fact asked me if I was taking videos or photos in the store. 
and proceeded to tell me I couldn't do that, of course I answered in the negative. Because while I may be a scofflaw, I'm not a troublemaker, and I don't really want to get kicked out of Walmart, so I took a little bit more video surreptitiously. There was stuff I would have liked to have captured for no particularly good reason. Speaker grills in the ceiling, the registers in the ceiling for the HVAC system, like I say, stuff that there was absolutely no point in recording video of, but I would have done it anyway just because, you know, it's unintentional history. And it'll be interesting to see what this storefront turns into, but thus concludes my adventure, and so in order to add a veneer of legitimacy to my activities, I did in fact go ahead and purchase a memory card for this uh, candy ham. It was only four dollars. <laughs> I think that was probably pretty hard to argue with. So thank you as always everyone for watching. I certainly do appreciate it, and as always I am looking forward to hearing your constructive commentary in response to this video.